All right guys, first car to the channel is a 1996 Acura Integra. It's got a JDM front end on it. It's got bulk racing wheels. It's lowered on Skunk 2 springs, actually coilovers, I should say. It does not have a powertrain, we'll get to that. Uh, we did take the spoiler off. It did have a Integra Type R spoiler, but it was an authentic one. So we got rid of that to lower the amount we have into the vehicle. I think they look cleaner anyways without the spoiler in the back. So we'll get these holes all filled. The last owner did paint the car, but didn't fill the holes. So we'll have this repainted. Uh, we will get the spoiler plug for it. I don't think I'm gonna bother this because where the antenna was, if I were to paint this, by the time we fill this, paint it, blend it, we're gonna be $2,000 into this. So we may skip that, it's to be determined. Other than that, walking around the exterior of the car, it's lowered, looks good. It's got, again, the Integra front end. We'll readjust the bumper there. It's a good looking car. So we're gonna clean up these, we'll get a new, uh, windshield molding on it because it's all broken we'll clean that up get rid of that although it looks decent another mystery of this car when i got it it doesn't have a wiper motor or wipers in it i don't know why anybody would take those off on a car you're driving on the street so we will get uh, a wiper motor and wiper assembly for it this car did have a k20 swap in it so we're probably going to go back to a k20 i think being that you know kind of they've already cut the mounts out that you need we'll clean this up a little more make it look better Interesting enough, somebody has relocated the sleeve, which looks kind of cool. Um, cleans up the firewall a lot. Does have the rad still in there. Uh, the nice thing about these Acuras compared to the CRX I drive is it has power steering. So that's always a good option. Looking inside of it. Nice. So I'm going to assume at some point it did have um, a racing seat in it. Being these are Acura TL seats and there's no back seat. So we're gonna need a back seat. We'll get some aftermarket racing seats for it. We're gonna do something with the steering wheel. I think we'll go to a Momo steering wheel um, and get rid of this ugly one that somebody took the bag out of. I'm assuming that this has always been in here, the steering wheel, because the horn does work on it. Uh, it was a standard car. I think we're gonna do an RSX type S transmission and uh, make it a standard again, make it a six speed. And uh, that's kind of it. That's Welcome back guys, it's another day and another car. It's finally time to work on the Integra type, or sorry, the Integra with the JDM front end on it. And we're gonna get the K20 done in it. We've got the donor car here you saw in the last video. This is the other Integra and we're gonna get this all together. We're gonna end up taking the GSR interior out of here and putting it in here. because This is a GSR car that's missing the interior. So we'll get that done. K20, six speed. And uh, let's go take a look at the mountain of parts I have for these two cars. It's not a mountain of parts, but for a guy who doesn't build a lot of Hondas until recently, it seems to be accumulating a lot. <laughs> this would be the mountain of Civic parts coming in. So we've got everything. We've got our clutch here. We've got some seats, steering wheel hub adapter. We've got a mount kit for the K20 going into the red Integra. Oh, some Integra Type R axles, tires for my Supra. We've got some seat belts. I don't even know what this is. Shifter for the red car. Uh, header, swap header for the red car. You can see kind of there. Blow off valve for the CRX. Exhaust for the red car. I don't even know what else there is. Over here, we've got more stuff. So, this is a K20A3 I originally bought to put in the red car. But then I actually came across this uh, K20 uh, Z3, or Z if you're pronouncing it that way, with the six-speed transmission limited slip. So we're going to do that. And then I have another K20 A3 with a six-speed non-limited slip diff over here. And then another six-speed transmission there that I may put in the CRX. I need to take the gears out of that and put them into the CRX all-wheel drive housing. So things are accumulating. Let's get busy. You know what, maybe you're unfamiliar with this car. Maybe you haven't watched what we've started. So we've already done the JDM front end on it. it uh, it's got a couple things to do in here. I do have a steering wheel for it. I didn't show you guys that, I forgot about that. That's the battery tray. And uh, it's a really nice car, super clean. I'm gonna take the hatch off. I'm gonna have these holes welded up. It did have a Type R spoiler on it, but I think I like it without it. And somebody did paint the hatch at one point for whatever reason. Didn't fill these, I just painted over them. It's kind of, I don't know, Mickey Mouse, but we'll get these filled up. And then looking under the hood, 
take a look here. Look, see here. So this is actually a carbon hood, but somebody painted it. So it's all been painted, but depending how the sun hits it, you can see the carbon on it. So yeah, we'll get the mount on the left side back on. We need to use that mount in the center, this mount. Somebody did a hack job pulling uh, pulling the heater lines off. So we hopefully don't have to put a core in it. We'll get those round again, hopefully. We'll give this a good spray, wash under here. And we'll have to get the power steering lines. We're gonna need a clutch line for sure, which I've overlooked until now. And uh, get things going here. It's gonna be a really cool car for somebody. Oh, and then the wiper assembly, if you don't know, that's the parts car. So the, if you're wondering, the wiper motor, wiper arms and stuff are going to come out of there. So, yeah, stay tuned. We're going to get busy on this. If you don't know, this was a parts car I bought. I did need the B18 out of it. So that was one reason I bought it. I couldn't find a B18 anywhere. Uh, I do need the back seat out of this car for this car. So it all works out in the end. We're going to get these things together. We're going to make one car. It's going to be a beautiful car for somebody. I'm looking forward to it. Here's the Integra. I always liked on the Hondas when you can see all the aluminum under there. Oh yeah, Tegan. What do you think? Do you like Integras? Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a pretty cool Integra. Yeah. Where's the hood prop? What in the hell? Hold on a sec, at least we have a parts car outside. I'll go get a hood prop. See, I, I really didn't want to buy this thing for $2,200, but it's little things like a hood prop that we need now, but it's just gonna come in that much more handy. So let's grab a hood prop here. Just like that, we got a hood prop. All right, life changing. So we grabbed a hood prop, but we've decided to just remove the hood. Anyway, so we got these. Hey, look at this. How nice is this built piece of aluminum? Ooh, she's fresh. It's pretty nice. This one? That one's that one. That's a hood. Yeah. I guess it'd go on the engine. But... Yeah, just like that. Perfect. Just like a puzzle, Tegan. It only goes one way. Right. Runway? Yeah. Wow. Nice looking parts though. And then we have ooh, our header. Pretty cool. Race pipe. Header. Tegan, what do you think of this header, bud? Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. <laughs> Should work. Oh yeah. yeah, get her done. Nice. Nice. Should look good back there. All right, Tegan, you're gonna get all this apart. We're gonna take all this off. We need to keep the ECU though. Yeah. Well, initial test fit. Tegan's over there doing something with the header. What are you doing there, Tegan? Making room? Well, it's not sitting flush against the forearm, so it's sitting, it's not sitting right. Yeah, you, I, see, you remember I said we would forget stuff? I just realized the CV axle we have, we don't have the intermediate shaft, we only have the outer shaft. Oh. So we need the intermediate. So we'll have to get that. But yeah, it looks good in there. It's, like it's, good. it's gonna go a lot further back once it's... Yeah, once it's in its room. spot, yeah. But yeah, this this has to line up over here, so it's gotta go a few inches back. Maybe I'll just pull the yeah, and that you can see now. too. I mean, the header's not hard to get in there after, so we can just take it out. We'll just pull the header out. Yeah. All right, so as we've learned, we're going to need a different header. So we need a header that goes straight down and back, not just the angle one. So that's one thing. And uh, yeah, we've got the harness we've got to put on here. You took the AC pump off, I see. Your compressor. Nice. Non power steering idler off. Oh, yeah. Power um, yeah, we will have power steering yet. Oh, because this would have been electric power steering. Yes. yes. Yeah, well, we have the other K20 over there. We can rob the power steering pump off if we want to. Or we'll just get a new one for this, probably. Cool. Cool, cool. Well, I'm going to go order a header. <laughs> All right. Moment of truth. Let's see if it supports its own weight. Oh, it didn't even move half yeah, an inch. Solid. Yeah. Here, these motors are shaky, so. <laughs> <laughs> is that sitting against something? How is it that solid? I don't think it's sitting against 
Because the, the K20 at my CRX moves more than that. Yeah, that's some solid mounting. Well, all the power to the ground then, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's pull everything out from underneath it. We'll drop her down. All right, Tegan, next step up is uh, the wiring. So that's installed. Uh, what's next? Power steering pump? I'll install that too. Hold on a sec. Just kidding. <laughs> nice. Well, this is nice. Everything's labeled on it. So it's uh, pretty straightforward. And the list of Honda things not going well. Well, we, I mean, we need new tires for that, so that's not a big deal. But uh, well, we had a few hiccups here. Hey, did you get a couple of hiccups? Yeah, one or two. So we had to use the PLM swap header was the only one that would clear here. Um, battery tray's got to go back in yet, Tegan, right? You got the injectors there. Uh, we need a rad hose. We need a rad hose. Ah, the throttle body. Oh, yes. Yeah, so okay. the cable-driven throttle body does not work on the aluminum intake, so we need to get the adapter for that. We have the shift cables in. we got to put the shifter in. need a belt yet. But uh, overall, it's going pretty good, hey? Yeah, more we got to figure out the exhaust and see if that's going to line up next. Yeah. Yeah. This fits, that fits, that doesn't fit. Yeah, well, figure it out, yeah. Perfect, installed. installed. Let's take a stroll over to Steve's mountain of Honda shit here and look for the box that uh, has the exhaust. I think it's this energy box. Has the, yeah, that's the box right there. Look at that box. All right, we're gonna see now if this exhaust is gonna fit. This is the other half of the header. That's the four to one. And then the one to one, I guess. One to one the atmosphere? I guess one to one, yeah. So I am a little bit concerned about the oil pan because the oil pan does sit lower than the rad support um, by a few inches. And this is on the high setting, so I don't like that. We do need to get a belt. We did get the CV axles installed now. There's one CV axle, another CV axle, and then the PLM header. We did get the exhaust all done up. Um, this exhaust didn't fit with the uh, long tube header. So we got that done. And then we got to put the muffler on. I do have concerns, however, because on this K20 in particular, I'm using a standalone harness. The O2 sensor is on the uh, body char chassis side, whereas it's not usually gonna, I don't know what to do yet. We'll figure that out. But anyway, yeah, so here's PLM header. And uh, things are looking good. Um, maybe I'll show you under the hood how things are looking up there. So I will say I do love the stance in this car. <clears throat> I was going to weld up and get these um, holes filled, but I don't know now. We're kind of going over budget on a lot of things. So I think we're just going to plug them with some plugs and we'll leave it like that. We do have a rear wiper for it off the other car. Uh, moving along over here. This is a carbon fiber hood, but somebody painted it, so that's kind of unfortunate. So the K20 is coming along really nice. We do have the standalone tuck harness in there now, um, although it's not completely finished, obviously. We do have the cables roughly run. Uh, we're just kind of getting a feel for what we need and where space is and how things are going. But uh, we got the rad back in here, and things are looking good filling up. But this is going to be, in my opinion, a super cool car when it's done. So, yeah, let's move it along. All right, guys, welcome back. It's another day. We're getting things done on the on the Red Integra. If you're not up to speed, you know, I'll walk you through it real quick here, kind of give you an overview of where we're at. Um, but things are going good. The project's going good. You know, one thing I'll give Honda, like this shit just goes together so easy. You know, if you're putting a LS in like, a, you know, one of those things. No, just kidding, that's different. Let's say you're putting an LS into something like a Chevelle. It never goes just quick and easy. Like this car, we don't have a lot of time into it. And I'm gonna show you how fast everything's been going together. So I'll flip it around here and I'll give you guys a walk around. So if you're just joining, obviously we have the Integra and we've got it lowered and we've got it on 15s and stuff like that. But we have done, for those who have been following along. So now, as I mentioned before, we did change the seats out. So we do have the, the proper GSR seats in it. We do have the center console and we did add a rear seat because somebody had deleted the rear seat at some point all went in nice we do have the shifter in there now it's functioning and then we actually we put the new fuse box right there and actually looks oh we it tucks in there nice serge got all the trim panel tri tri uh, trim panels trimmed away Whew. try and say that three times fast this side 
We did get the Nardi steering wheel in there. And again, with the GSR seats, it needs a good cleaning. It actually looks worse on camera than it does in person. But yeah, shifters in there is looking great. Got the interior in there now. Let's check under the hood. We got the wiper motors in there now, because remember, it didn't have the wipers before. Okay, 20's coming along nice. We got the swap header back there. Got the harness on, belt on, power steering. I need to finish the power steering. Gonna get some lines for it. I gotta get a clutch line for it. But uh, things are things are cruising pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this car. This is gonna be a really rad car. It's got the JDM front end on it. Like if you stand back and look at this, like look how cool that looks. I don't know. I just there's such a soft spot for these cars. And you know what's funny? This is the funny thing and the irony in all of this. These cars were never built originally by honda to be kept i would say they were a throwaway car like the civic like an eg or something but they were never like nobody thought they'd be desired and sought after like they are today but the acura integra has just held its own and it's been doing fantastic for years so we're gonna keep going we're gonna get this k20 swap finished up here we're moving along on it we do have all the exhaust welded underneath i didn't get a video of that i probably should have um but uh yeah, things are looking good. You may have seen it. It's been on a lot of viral videos, but 650 horsepower. It's got the K20 Z3 in it, uh, GT35 turbo, custom header, manifold, uh, big intercooler, big rad, all-wheel drive system. Um, inside of it, it's got nice race seats in it. It does have the race pack. It's got the gauges. It does have the sparkle wheel. Similar shifter to the car that's we're currently working on, so um yeah check out my main channel i'm considering giving this away on there and uh it's gonna be a lot of fun okay guys the, the integra is cruising along i did change the plans with the integra um i'll get into that later on you know different wheels stuff like that uh we have a jdm spoiler coming for it uh we've got the interior together i'm not sure if i did a video previously about it uh we're working on the wiring right now uh, making sure everything works as it should um moving over here uh, the K20 is coming along nicely. Got the wiring going. The one thing I did run into was I went with a standalone harness, uh, not realizing it was a JDM harness. So it is missing the um, uh, VTEC solenoid oil pressure sensor. So we're going to have to wire that in with the original harness there off this. And we'll put it in there. Uh, you know, we got some parts here, um, clutch lines and some control arms, stuff like that. Um, we are going to use a different power steering reservoir relocated over here and then we'll have to run the pressure line which will be ugly unfortunately but it's going to go around that way so this car will have power brakes power steering power windows it'll be kind of cool that way so things are moving along looking good and uh keep you guys updated well the type r spoiler showed up today it's uh it's pretty good this car had a type r spoiler so the holes are pretty much there for the most part and uh, what's going on over here? We got shift knob in here. Surge has most of the wiring done. What, it's about 90% of the wiring, Surge? Yeah, I'd say. Yeah. I don't know if I mentioned before. We're relocating the battery down here. I don't know if I mentioned that. We were just uh, getting the clutch line all hooked up. We do need a different master. Um, this one was leaking. Um, What's that, search? Paint the booster, it's rusty. Yeah, we're gonna paint it and clean it up there because you can see it's been leaking for some time. And uh, then we are get this finished up and then we're onto the fuel system, Surge. Eh? And uh, power steering closes. Yeah, kind of on the home stretch. Well, well and then we gotta wrap it blue yet, but mm -hmm. we'll get Pearson to do that. We're not, we're not gonna do that. But uh, should be a cool car. Oh, the wheels are done. I uh, gotta pick those up. Okay, we'll get the wheels and uh, yeah, go from there. Nice, looking good. We've got the power steering line coming along nicely. We've got it all bent into shape down here across there. And then what we're gonna do is use a compression fitting, hydraulic compression fitting, to use the, uh, I guess, 94 Acura fitting to the K20. And then that'll give us the supply end of the power steering. And then after that, we all think, well, I'm on the fence about whether to mount this reservoir here. And then you have a nice little clean fitting. Actually, I don't know if the HUD's gonna close either. And we're gonna start wrapping the car, so we gotta get it all apart. We do have the front bumper obviously off now, but we'll wrap it and uh, get it going. Some spoilers here now, so things are going. We do have the white wheels. 
Um, they should be getting here right away. They were just powder coated. So we'll get those on here as well. Things are moving along nice, that's for sure. So these are the tires we're gonna put on the car. They're just a cheap all season tire. And then these are, back to my first look at them powder coated, the white wheel we're gonna use because you can't actually find, or I can't find, the ones that we need to replicate uh, the Fast and the Furious Mia Toretto car. So this is as close as we're gonna get. I think they look pretty darn good. So this is a 16. The car currently has a 17, 16 inch tire. This is the, actually the stock size, 205, 45, 16. That's what the Type R had on it from factory. So we'll get these mounted up and tossed on the car, see how it looks. This car is coming along good. Serge is welding up a bracket over here for the power steering. I miss welding, but with my new ICD or my heart problem, I'm not allowed to weld anymore. So that's, uh, that's the end of that. But uh, Serge is mounting right here, right, Sergis? You're gonna put the yeah. power steering reservoir here. Yeah. That's the plan. That's the plan. And then uh, we're gonna start wrapping this car today and we're gonna get the new wheels mounted up. And uh, what else is there, Sergis, we're doing here? You got the power steering pressure line done, right? Um, intake, we gotta figure out. Intake won't be bad. That'll be easy. I actually have one off a of Civic over there that'll probably sure. fit on here. So. That won't be bad. Fuel lines. Fuel lines, we're do I'm doing that right now. No, I'm doing it right now. That doesn't even count. I'm gonna be done before this video is done. So, Serge got the brake or the uh, clutch line all vabbed up yesterday. It looks great. It looks OE actually. We put a new master on and we did paint that because uh, it was peeling as I showed you guys. But yeah, things are coming along pretty good on this thing. All right, this guy's coming along nice. Serge just washed it up and it looks friggin' brand new now. And uh, we're taking the rear bumper off, getting ready for wrap here. We did pick up another car over there. Don't ask questions. Um, yeah, things are looking good here under the hood. Serge got the bracket from the power steering done. We're just waiting on some uh, fittings for, oh, let's go on here. Waiting for some fittings for the fuel system and then should be ready to start it but we got the power steering all done now we just need one more plug and uh things are moving along oh all in a day's work she is looking blue like mia's car from the fast and the furious things are coming along good nice gloss to it and uh yeah no complaints not bad for a quick six hours of work Although the Integra is pretty easy to wrap. What a difference, eh? Look at that. Next, we'll get the wheels on here, like that. You know what, let's see what that wheel looks like. Let's see here, let's grab this thing. Little sound effect. I like that. Look at that. That is gonna look sharp. All right, tomorrow Pearson, I'll get the rest of this thing wrapped up and uh, see how things are going. Obviously, this is the easy stuff. It's the time-consuming stuff like the bumpers and the lip, the mirror, stuff like that. It takes forever. But things are going good, and I gotta say, I dig the blue much more than the red. That's for sure. So the wrap's coming along really good. We're not going to do jams at this point, but things are cruising along good on the wrap. Things are... Looking good. Actually, I'll show you guys the other side. Serge got two of the wheels put on this side. And Serge over here has got a station of parts and things coming apart to wrap. But yeah, that's what it looks like with the white wheels. Serge, I like it with the white wheels. What do you think? I like it. You like it? I do. Yeah? Yeah, I think it looks good. Um, yeah, Pearson's got to get the bumpers done next. And uh, side skirts have to get done. I think we're doing the spoiler next. I don't know if I guys showed you guys, but Type R spoiler showed up for it. So yeah, oh, we relocated the battery down there too. We're not gonna use the, the stock location one. And then yeah, we should have fittings tomorrow, Surge, for the K-Series, for the power steering system and fuel system. We're getting close, we're getting close. This guy's off to Europe right away, so we lose him for three weeks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so anyway, things are going. Things are moving along. Look at this. Love the blue with the white wheels. We've got battery relocate down there. Serge and I are just about to do the JDM spoiler back there. Sorry, not JDM, Type R spoiler. I was looking at the front end, JDM front end. 
but uh, things are looking spicy. Looks good on the ground. Can I tux a little bit? We gotta lift it up a little bit because there's only about half an inch here. Serge has installed the spoiler. That's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. So yeah, things are looking good. We just need to, right? Yeah. Finish up the wrap. This bumper took forever to do, but uh, it's 90% done now. So yeah, side skirts are almost done. Rear bumper's got one of the inserts done. Things are going good. So we're definitely leaving spoiler installed to Surge here. Because Surge, why do we leave it to you? Because it takes like three hours to yeah. install it. Yeah, and what does Steve do? Just throw it on. Throw it on, yeah. Steve is a uh, <laughs> drill four times and measure once maybe kind of guy. Double side too. And two side. I did suggest two sided yeah. tape for it. I did. Okay, so we're gonna leave the spoiler to you. I'll come back and see how you're doing. So this one section is way too hard to wrap. Well, I mean, we did the blue center, but like instead of spending days and days and days wrapping this, we're just using, well, not Plasti Dip, but that type of thing. Plasti Dip's kind of the OG, I guess. Protect Dip, Protect Dip, and some tire bags, but uh, that'll look just as good. It'll be black with a blue strip down the middle, and uh, we don't have to spend an entire day wrapping little sections. And then we're gonna do the, the badges black as well instead of chrome. So I think it's gonna look pretty sick. I'm pretty excited about this for sure. Got a whole bunch of the wrap done last night. Things are coming along super good. Definitely excited. Definitely need to finish the rear bumper today. We got some of these trim pieces finished, but this wrap to me is fire. You guys drop me a comment. I wanna know what you think of it. So we got the JDM front end on here. We gotta get the decals on the side. We have to, these are not the proper wheels for the car, but until I find the proper wheels, this is what we get. So there are 16, these are the stock size of a uh, Integra Type R. So we did put the Integra Type R spoiler on the back of it and things are coming along good. Like I have never been so excited for a Honda product. We've got the K20 rocket in here that we need to finish yet. Um, interior's coming together. Do have to finish up the wiring for the engine, but uh, I would argue that this is one of the coolest cars I've had in a long time. I don't care about the Lamborghini. I don't care about any of that stuff. This car is rad. I cannot wait to get the decals down the side of it for the Fast and the Furious theme. It's going to be rad. Check it out, guys and girls. This is the finished product of the wrap on the Integra GSR with the GADM front end and the Type R spoiler. I am so pumped at how, how cool this car turned out. There's obviously, you guys can see some scratches in it. That's going to come out in the sun. It's a... Uh, self-healing wrap but look at how cool it came out can't wait to finish it we got our throttle body adapter so we have the k20 z3 with the k20 a3 throttle body now we're gonna start working on the fuel system so we've got over here a bunch of fittings we've got our regulator and uh some jsc fittings we're gonna use and uh fab up a system here and see what we can come up with well we had a slight hiccup in all of these fittings, none of them fit. We need these fittings, so I'm gonna have to get more of those. I think in the meantime, we're gonna get the center caps on here because I actually forgot about those. And uh, I got them right here. Although, it doesn't look very good. Hmm. No, perfect. Ooh, let's give it a little rappy poo. Perfect. Big news, guys. The decals finally showed up. I'm going to get those on today. We've got things going good. We've got the throttle body on there now. Uh, my boy Graham, the Honda Master, has been working on the electrical end of things inside here, getting the mobilizer put in. Uh, a couple more things to do in here. Not a whole bunch. We're going to get the fuel system dialed up. We're working on that right now. There's their motive regulator. Things are looking good over here. I'm pumped about this car. Uh, well, let me show you what I'm looking at. So this decal that is about seven feet long is i think the base there's no instructions with these and then i think that goes over top that's black that's silver that's blue and that is also seven feet long those are easy this is uh to say a task is an understatement i don't even know how this is going to turn out because i'm again not a decal guy and uh well that might be more than seven feet long. That is long. All right, let's get busy. So G, now go, go back to that picture. So that's that's what I get to do. 
And guess what? So the decal is three layers. So first I put down the blue and then the silver goes over top of it and then the black goes over top of that. How are you feeling about that? I'm uh, gonna watch. Cause... So as much as I hate decals, I get to theoretically do it six times. Oh so, God. Yeah. Oh God. So, and I, I have six decals to do six times that are seven feet long. So here we go. Well, that's the rough mock-up of the blue. I'll trim the excess off so it's easier to work with, but that uh, gives an idea anyway, kind of how it goes. And then the silver will go over it and the black will go over that. Okay, final moment. Graham, can I get your seal of approval here now that I've cut my finger 400? Oh, I'm gonna be responsible for this. 400 times? Um, yeah, that looks good. It just misses the door handle there. Yeah. Well, I mean, it overlaps the under part of it a little bit by the key, but, um, and then it goes on an angle and we'll put the silver over it. Well, I'm scared, so. Yeah, me too. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> Here we go. Perfect. Well, no, the main wrap is self healing, right? So, oh, yeah, still pushing water out of these. Oh, yeah. Fast and the Furious. Oh, no, this would be tedious. Right? It has to be perfect for surgery. Look at that, it is. Not surge mode. No. Well, that was stressful, but decal one of six is done. We're gonna get the next decal here. Uh, this wasn't the bad one. The bad one is the next one because it starts up here and this four foot section is all one piece. So there's not a lot of place for the air to go. We only have about two air bubbles in all of that, which we can get out pretty easy. We got to cut around the door yet and around the fuel tank, but gives you an idea. Let's go get the big decal. We'll get it mocked up and then get it going. So you can see how long it is. This is where things are gonna get cute. I do have to line it up a little bit better, but the idea is there'll be blue and silver all the way through there, blue and silver up there. And then after we'll put the black decal over the silver and give it the look we're looking for. Okay, so I'm not a wrap guy, obviously, but what I've done is, or a vinyl guy, what I've done is I've chopped away most of the excess stuff. Uh, I do this for a couple reasons when I do these. One, it makes it more, pliable or easy to work with because you're not fighting you know a friggin six mil material that doesn't move um, but it also like you know you could have relief cuts but the big one is I can now see where the decal is underneath it had I just wrapped that before I'm actually a few inches too low this needs to go up all of it which is awesome because I got to mess with the door handle after looking forward to that but uh yeah so we're gonna bring it up a little bit and then uh start applying it well, there, I think that's about it. Now we just got to uh, lay it on there and not destroy it. That's always the interesting part. Uh, I think we'll wait till Graham gets here. It's only about uh, around 5.30 in the morning. But once Graham gets here in an hour, we'll, uh, we'll cut this decal on. And then we'll put the little one, the black one over it. It's easy. It only goes from about there forward. This one's silver. just doesn't look it. And then we'll do the other side. Well, here goes nothing. Just like that, I've started to peel it off and it's gonna look good. Although the deck that goes on top of the silver has the most detail, but it's gonna look cool. I can't wait. Hey Graham, can I see you in my office for a second? Yeah. How's that look so far? Oh, looks good. Looks good, not bad for a, not a decal guy. Yeah, no, it looks great. I gotta trim around the fuel door a bit. Yeah. Does the door handle look okay? Cause I had to trim the bottom corner off of yeah, down it there. Perfect. It looks perfect. Good, good, good. Well, maybe I'll do some real work now. <laughs> One more layer. One more, well, no, 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 four more. Four more layers. One on here and three on the other side. Oh God. But I haven't wrecked anything yet. Yeah. So yeah, oh, I gotta go. Okay. <laughs> 
So what I'm doing is I'm cutting this all out because this is the decal, this is the piece everybody's gonna be drawn to, I guess you could say. So I wanna cut the edges as close as I can, but still have a little bit to work with. So that when I put it over the silver, I make sure I'm not too high or too low or as close as I can. So that's where I'm at right now. Just trimming out, I already took a bunch of this off. It was huge and then I cut it down obviously, but uh, yeah, I'll keep going here. Well, here we go. So that's it, it's uh, not too bad. I gotta do a little bit of trimming in a couple of spots up there, down there and over there. But overall, that looks pretty cool, I think. Well, we got the other side done, so now we have to do it all over. I don't know if I'll videotape this whole thing or not, but uh, I'll get this. Hey G, yep. did you try and start this thing yet? I have not started it. Did I you? haven't even tried to. I hooked up the ECU and the mobilizer and that's where I stopped. Is it, but fuel lines hooked up and everything? Fuel lines are hooked up, yeah. Oh, let's see what happens here. Is the battery hooked up? I don't know where the battery is. It's in the right fender. Maybe it is. All right, let's see what happens here. We got power. We, uh, we didn't look under the hood before we started it, so there's no power steering line hooked up, so it's spraying everywhere. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. And I heard a loud vacuum leak, or was that the throttle body? Um, it, there's no gasket in there. We're still waiting for a oh, gasket okay. to... Nice. And uh, obviously no coolant in it. No coolant, yeah. Good, good, good thing we but checked no in it. No fuel leaks. No fuel leaks, well, that's a good sign. All right, all right. All right. We don't even know what the fuel pressure is set at. Uh, whatever it came. <laughs> we uh, should probably do yeah. that too. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Well, cool, we know the car The car runs. <sighs> Back to this giant headache. I'm not even gonna video this for you guys. You know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna trim it down, put it on there. Life's good. We'll cut to the finished product. All right, guys, this video was what I would consider a victory on the Mia Toretto uh, Tribute Fast and the Furious car, I guess, because it's not a four-door, but it's similar in a lot of ways. Let's take a quick look at what we've accomplished on this video and go from there. So check it out, we've got all the decals on, we've got the decals on the side. So again, it's a tribute car, not a movie, not a replica car, because otherwise those decals would be on the ground effects down there. However, they were a little bit too tall and would have tucked under there and I didn't like that. We've got it running now, that was an accomplishment. So it does run, uh, we gotta finish the power steering, that's actually the pressure line laying up there that needs to run around back to the rack. Things are cruising along, let's take a quick walk around here. Uh, I'm, again, if you wanted to make it correct, you would have Honda logos, because Acura they didn't have in Japan, right? And this side, of course, I do have a couple air bubbles as working out there, I gotta finish that yet. But things are moving along. I'm pretty pumped about this car, as you can tell. And uh, what do you guys think? Drop me a comment, I'm curious. K20 Z3, we've got the six speed LSD. We've got the JDM front end on it now. And uh, things are looking good. Well, what I want to video is how the last, how many times have we started this car? Three, and how many times have you checked the whale? Zero. Zero? <laughs> did, you, did you pull the drain plug out? The drain plug is tight. Well, we should pull it out and see if there's anything in it. No, I don't want to know. Well, you, you want to know, because, well, let's do it. Okay. Go, go back up with it. It's not like you're, you're like lifting the car here. We're all the same. All right, let's check it out here. Well, let's see what we got here. I mean, the dipstick looked pretty dry to me, but just a K20Z3 with... Oh, there's no gasket on there too. No gasket, so that's a good sign when it's not dripping, there's no gasket. Oh boy, oh boy, it's getting drier. 
Oh boy. Watch me drop the plug. Oh boy. Oh, there's oil. All right, well, it looks clean. Did you put anything in it? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I put it about 500 mil out of that one bottle. All right, well, where's, where's your oil drain thing? Your buggy over there. Oh boy. Alright, let's see, is there more than 500 mil in here? Um, I hope so. The engine was very quiet. It was quiet, but there was nothing on the dipstick. Zero. Oh. Um, yeah. I'm going to say there's about 500 mil in there. Yeah, oh. the oil filter's probably full now. <laughs> okay. I'll get a gasket for this. Yeah, alright. Okay, we'll come back to this. We'll come back to it. Just getting ready for maiden voyage here, Graham. I'm telling you, the idle's low. I'm telling you. All right. Yeah, it's like the idle air is not working. It does seem like that, doesn't Actually, it? Actually, it probably isn't working because it has an adapter. Oh, maybe. All right. Okay. Well, I bet the CRX works. Mm. Right. I'm going to go have lunch. You ponder that. You already had lunch, so I'm going to go have lunch. Well, we're minutes away from the final road estimated voyage. We don't know if we have a speedometer yet. We do know that we don't have an interior coolant temp sensor yet. We're getting there. Here is the intake air temp sensor. We still need to plumb in, but uh, we're on the home stretch anyway. Things are looking good. I'm pumped about it anyway. This thing, almost done finally after thousands of dollars in work on it. It's actually moving under its own power. It is so loud, dude. It is very loud. Very loud. That's with the silencer. Yeah. <laughs> Has he ripped on it? Well, it... You'll cut such fire. Oh. I can't believe how loud it is. <laughs> yeah. It definitely needs a resonator. That's a success, uh, successful day. It is successful. Yeah, warm. It's alive, G. How did it feel? Does it feel peppy? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it needs more RPM. Yeah. yeah. You only got five grand. Uh, yeah, just a, maybe a hair over five. Which so we have seventy-two. Uh, I don't remember what. Uh, we got. We need a the RSX ECU. Oh right, because this is a base ECU. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. All right. Cool. It's so loud, man. You have no idea. Yeah. All right. Cool. Just like that, we've got her in the garage ready to go. Not only that, we've got the Eclipse here. Things are looking hot on the Eclipse. You guys make sure you subscribe, follow along. There's going to be a lot of content coming up with these cars as soon as I have five minutes to make it. Thanks for watching.